I thought I would focus on menopause this month for two reasons. One, I'm running a, a, um, a complimentary masterclass halfway through the month on Tuesday the 14th of September. Um, the details are in the post. And, um, and I'm starting a four-month menopause health coaching program at the end of the month on the 28th of September. Um, inf uh, and I'll release information about that uh, as the month goes by. But I wanted to start with um, the fact that menopause really does profoundly affect the gut for a lot of women. You know, the bloating and the belching and the gas and the uh, constipation, maybe even fluid retention. Um, it's, a, it's a real problem for a lot of women. And I think that it's useful, uh, before we even tackle how to deal with those issues, it's useful to uh, start with the basics of a of good digestion. I'm going to break this down into a number of videos because uh, there's too much ground to cover for one. Um, but a great starting point to improve digestion would be to start with chewing thoroughly. When we hold food in the mouth and we chew it uh, really well, what happens is that we have saliva in the um, mouth and we're producing amylase, which is a digestive enzyme that breaks down starches. So a very important starting point. And then as we swallow and take food down the esophagus into the stomach, we're producing or releasing hydrochloric acid, which is stomach acid. Uh, and then by holding that food in the mouth for a prolonged period and chewing really well, we increase the surface area of the food. So think about the difference between chewing four times and swallowing, chewing 80 times and swallowing is profoundly different. And so that food, as it comes into the stomach, has a greater surface area. We've got the hydrochloric acid that's been released, and that's going to operate over a larger surface area. And the beauty of that is that it has a job to do, and the more surface area available to it, the more efficient it can be with its job. It's primarily got two things that it needs to do. Uh, the first is that it, uh, it kills pathogens, so whether it's fungi or viruses or bacteria, or maybe it's parasites. Um, and the other thing that it helps uh, uh, with is absorption of vitamin B12, um, iron, calcium, and protein. So you really want sufficient levels of hydrochloric acid to be produced. And this is another issue as we start aging is that we actually produce less of that. And so digestion becomes much slower and much mm, less efficient as we age. So this is sort of compounds the whole menopause thing as well. Chewing thoroughly also allows the uh, gallbladder time to release sufficient amounts of um, bile. When you take your time eating a meal, you allow the brain to register when you're full before you consume all of it. So in other words, if you had a meal in front and you took your time eating it, uh, especially if it was a high fat meal, you, you allow your brain to kind of go at some point during that meal, go, oh, actually I'm quite full now, um, without you consuming those additional calories that you don't need or that additional energy that you don't need. So this gives you something to practice uh, between this video and the next one. Uh, chew really thoroughly, chew really slowly, eat really slowly. Uh, start thinking about um, what's happening while you're chewing and we'll cover the rest of the digestive process in uh, my next video.